Okay, now we study uh, least squares fitting of a linear model to a set of measurements that have errors. So, um, fit of, of a linear model. And let's first simulate the data. A bit later we will measure some data that you will analyze in the exercises, but here let's work with simulated data. And now uh, simulate some data and uh, let's, let's do uh, following uh, the thing we have on the blackboard. So let's think we have this time instance at which we have some measurements available. And let's just assume here that we have measured these uh, at times one second, two seconds, three seconds, and, and so on. And then the measurements mm, And let's make a, let's think that we, we are roughly, we should have like a, uh, the measurement equals, let's say we roughly think that it's, it should be like half of the time. So we, we would have a linear model that M would equal uh, 0 0.5 times T plus zero. But I will just <laughs> add some, some, errors here by hand, let's see what happens. Uh, so it's kind of, I mean, I, in, ideally we would have these values. Uh, like this, but let me just, let me add by hand some errors here. And let me also warn you that uh, if you, if you want to fraud some tax data or something by adding some, uh, by imagining, making, making up some imaginary data, <laughs> there are ways to see it uh, because with human mind we cannot really uh, make data that would follow the, so the famous Benford's law that tells what digits actually should appear uh, in real-world data. So this is a very, very stupid way of modeling errors in data, but anyway, this is what I'll do now. Like this. And let's plot. Always, always, when developing mathematical models and simulations, always plot. And Let's just steal from our previous file the parameters for plotting. Okay, and here um, let's let's actually make something called TVEC and MVEC.
like this. And let's see, uh, put the measurement like this, and then plot uh, plot t vec m vec. And actually, these ones we don't want to plot as as a, a line. We want to plot these as points because these really are uh, points in our measurement. Let's plot them in in red and let's say red plus signs and let's put the marker sign marker size m size and maybe let's do this axis equal thing here as well okay well, these are not so visible. Let's make a, let's make let's plot them in two ways. Let's put points as well and hold on in between. Okay, so here are our data points. Yep. Sorry, can you repeat, please? More errors. Okay. Let's put more errors. Uh, well, this could be even like that. Is it better? Okay, so now we have clearly, uh, it's clear that these points do not lie on any given line. That's for sure. So now we look for the best possible linear uh, model for these measurements. Um, let's uh, construct the least squares fit to the data, these squares linear fit. So uh, we use the model uh, m equals a times t plus b, where the real numbers a and B are our unknowns. So now matrix equation is a times a b this one equals um, v system matrix a so a equals and how did we construct it on the blackboard we have uh, T1, 1, like this. Of course, we could do this also by using our vector notation, but maybe this is more clear to do it this way. And then construct right hand side vector which is actually m uh, so actually v equals this m vec simply like that and then uh, 
solve this in the least square sense. So we will have result equals a könökeppi v and our a should be result component number one and b should be result component number two. Let's see what happens when we run this. Uh, so here a is this one and b is this one. And let's plot how our linear fit looks like. Let's plot the linear model. So here, let's put a plot is lean space. Um, let's go from T1 to T7 with five points and and then B plot would be B equals B equals minus A plot times No, oh, what I'm doing, no, T plot, of course, T and M, T and M, so we should have uh, M equals A times T plot plus B, and let's plot, yep, yes, thank you, ah. T plot, M plot, Let's put it in blue and uh, like this. So let's see. So there you have it. This is the least squares fit uh, of a linear model. Okay, and now actually at this point, I think we still have time to do our our uh, measurement uh, based on uh, a water heater and I will need two volunteers. I'll stop the recording of this one.